this is a this is a very deep issue for people who face it you know sexuality is not something you can just turn on and off like a switch and it's always there you know it's a very powerful drive and for someone who discovers that their sexual drives are directed towards their same gender i mean imagine where that would leave you if it's something you didn't choose and can't necessarily turn off and you're part of a religious community and you believe in that religion and you know it's not acceptable in your community like this puts you in a very difficult you know and you don't know can i get married you know is this even feasible for me am i going to live my life alone like there are a lot of issues that come up that people don't really necessarily realize because we think lgbt okay calm or whatever you're thinking about people are actually out like doing the, the the activity and there's a lot of excess certainly in in the community not every person who also identifies <laughs> lgbt is necessarily kind of like but especially among males there's a very high degree of promiscuity this is this is known you know anecdotally and statistics are there um so there's a lot of kind of excess right in there um that will be admitted to by people who are in these communities and know about them um but but that's one aspect of it. But there are also other aspects of it where people are struggling with with desires. Um, and again, it's also it's often uh, emotional, mm. much more so than than uh, physical. And a lot of men will say, like, deep down, I really I, I am looking for an emotional connection with another man. You know, and the physical aspect is there. But many will say, like, primarily, it's it's an emotional connection. And when they say love is like, like there's some truth to that. But again, for us, love, yes, you need love, but like platonic love, not sexual love, right? We're going with, uh, we've got a list of common objections that I'd like you to respond to. But uh, just to kind of, I think, show a, a broad map of, I think, where you've taken us. So we've almost got, you know, a two-pronged sort of situation where we've got the discourse, we've got the ideas, the society, where it's going. And on terms of the discourse and the ideology, we've got to put our foot down and we've got to stop this. And we've got to say that, no, we don't identify with our sexuality. Our sexuality is determined and regulated by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the Sharia. And that's actually our entire thing. And we refuse to be called bigots and we refuse to be conflated uh, with people who are engaging in acts of violence and hate bashing. and hate bashing and stuff like that, just because we're putting our foot down on this issue of morality that is an essential part of our deed. But on the other hand, then you're portraying also the, the picture of all of the individuals that that might struggle with uh, the desire to sin, just like any of us would struggle to, you know, with any desire to any other sort of sin, with the exception, perhaps, that this particular desire for this particular sin is extremely loaded um, now. And we're you're caught up with a lot of emotional yes. baggage. Exactly. It often goes back to very early childhood, right? The yeah. person's carrying a lot of baggage with them. It's not just that. I mean, some people might be, but for a lot of people, there's a lot more going on than just like misdirected desires. Right. Yes. And so that person, you know, that person should be treated, you know, that's sort of like an in-house issue where this person mm -hmm. needs support and understanding and, uh, you know, the type of support that anybody would expect from another Muslim who is sincerely trying to do the right thing and trying to submit. And I think that's yeah. kind of the where we draw the line. Are you trying to submit or are you not? Are you trying to, to change right. Islam and force all of us to change as well? Um, have us submit to you as the case right. may be. Um, but if, if you accept, I, I've got a list of common objections here that I kind of, mm -hmm. because as you said, and I love that you said, you know, the, in the beginning of our talk about language games, right? And the terms that we use are so loaded. In fact, they're really just slogans. Mm -hmm. um, the ideas are tucked into the language in a very, very sneaky way to shift the conversation and to shift the ideas. 